Hi, I'm Paul Osbald Eston. I'm the content development lead for Creative Wales. Uh, so responsible for growing the screen, TV, animation and games industries. Uh, nice to be here to you today talking about what we offer the sector. Um, from a development perspective, there are two main areas of support that we give. One is uh, development funding, which is a, a regular pot, uh, a regular competitive pot of funding that we have uh, each year uh, that uh, will give you up to £25,000 as a grant, uh, non-repayable grant, to develop uh, a concept uh, in animation. Um, obviously, we're looking for that concept to be commercially focused, so ideally you'd have some kind of interest from a potential um, distributor, broadcaster, commissioner, etc. cetera. Uh, or you might already have some traction on a digital platform with a piece of IP. Uh, that applies for companies in Wales and looking to develop uh, IP that's uh, sellable from Wales. The second sort of area that we offer is uh, a new initiative called the Young Content Fund in Wales that offers up to 50,000 for uh, specifically for content targeted at young audiences. Now that's not specifically reserved for animation. That also includes uh, live uh, action TV for children's, uh, children's consumption. So um, in the last round of that, we supported eight projects, four of which were animation projects and four of which were uh, live action projects. So again, that was a, a grant. The one condition of that grant was that it was um, the productions needed to be made bilingually uh, in English and Welsh. Clearly, if you know, it's a company that's um, coming into Wales with experience of producing other languages, there's no problem to produce in multiple languages, but there is a requirement about it being um, English and Welsh language production uh, in whatever format that might take, subtitles or, or, or voice or whatever. The development funding and the young, uh, or young content fund are generally reserved for Welsh businesses because what we're trying to do is, is get more IP produced in Wales from Wales. I think when it comes to development and, and co-production, we'd have an open mind. We typically say, you know, if the Welsh business owns at least, you know, 50% of the of the IP, then that would enable us to look at a co-production with an outside uh, company. We do look, obviously, for projects that have uh, have a good component of um, Welsh culture, Welsh language. Um, that is a, a factor. It was one of the factors when we're scoring. It does apply particularly at the production funding level. It can be a, a major feature of the production funding. For example, if if a, if, if a, a bigger project is is really showcasing a particular location in Wales or an element of Welsh culture and language, yes, you know that can be a factor. Um, in the application, it can be a positive thing towards the case. For development, though, we're really looking at just really good ideas, fresh ideas, uh, good content ideas that have international commercial reach. And so for that reason, that's the real primary focus for development.